disebutkan di dalam acara ACI Indonesia ini ternyata ada juga loh uh, uh, acara pencaksilan di ala Indonesia yaitu dari Bang Mabute yang di sini di Bayaraya disebut White Brain oke yuk kita ngomong-ngomong dengan mereka ya so let's have a few best stories from Indonesia to San Francisco There's a Bay Area school of uh, Bengal Puti uh, originally in the 70s uh, from the U.S. and Europe went to Indonesia to study with the Ambassador to Harja in Bogor and then brought it back to the U.S. and also Europe. So we got started because there were schools here in Oakland and San Francisco teaching Bengal Puti. Okay, how many of you guys? Three or forty. Right, so... Um, and how did you guys get invited to our event? Uh, well, our school, our, our, uh, our teacher, Peter Ajemian, teaches in Oakland, was invited to here, so he sent us uh, to come to a demonstration today. It's only three of you guys. Yeah. And yeah. what, is, what is your name? My name is Jenny Brown. Jenny Brown. Ed Gable. Ed Gable. Jacob Lindsay. All right. And how long you guys been doing all this thing? About a year, year and a half. Year and a half. How did you choose uh, Bamo Kunde instead of other Katsasinas? Ah, well, I think we chose it based on the, uh, based on the school and our teacher. We had, he had a really good vibe and really, I didn't know anything about Bamo before I studied there. But I think it's and, uh, the school uh, it just comes from the mobile or the JP. It's a very nice community feel to it. Very open, a really good spirit, and that's what I've been proud also, the system combines uh, hard striking elements with more soft movements and quite a lot of uh, uh, movements that are good for your health uh, and that also train you in martial arts. So it's a really broad-based uh, system related to uh, Kung Fu and related to Buddhism, in fact, okay. and it has many, many kinds of appeal for many different people. Alright, how about you? <laughs> Basically the same reason, because of the balance. There's a, the hard and the soft are nicely balanced there. And you feel yourself getting healthier as you train it. Yeah. That's nice. And how many Indonesians in, in the organization of Jasi like right now? Uh, in, in this in area, Bay Area, None. Oh my we're God. trying to get more. Right yes. That's why we're here. Because we think there should be Indonesians. Yes. This is this is happens a lot, even in the dance community. I am in the dance community and theater community. Often a lot of all the we call bule <laughs> yes. Yes, that's right. That's right. are you know, they study more, a lot more. They have the pride and say, okay, come on, you guys, Indonesian people can be here. Please, be proud of your own art. Yeah, yeah. Right? We, are, we are now recruiting Indonesian students at a school in Hayward. Hayward? Yes, okay. and so there are workshops there Thursday evenings and Sunday mornings. Okay. Uh, and that is at a, I believe, the Foosball, New Foosball uh, Center. Okay. They have uh, Foosball, they have martial arts. And, and it's run by an Indonesian, a man from Indonesia. Good. And he's very interested in bringing Silat uh, to his facility and getting Indonesians involved. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any website that the audience might be able to check it out? Yes. Yeah, there's uh, our school, is Soja. Soja? Um, Soja. S-O-J-A? S-O-J-A. And that's in Oakland. Okay. And the website is sojamartialarts.com. Okay. Listen to that, you guys. Check it out. And um, yeah. anything else to contact person if people are interested? In the information is on the uh, internet. There are also uh, children's classes okay. that happen all year round. And then there is a couple of versions of children's summer camp that would be for me. youth from five, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 5 to 13, I think. Okay. And uh, that is a really good class for kids. They get to, they because every form is based on the animal. And, and some yoga and some movement and some small amount of very safe striking that is totally perfect. Alright, thank you so much you guys. Yeah.